Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Paradigm Woods and Irons from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Jackson, and this is your Golf Central update. Well, the 51st edition of the Honda Classic wrapped up today, and it was 37-year-old veteran Chris Kirk who broke through on the PGA Tour for the first time in eight years. After putting the ball in the water on the 72nd hole, he ultimately came through a playoff against Eric Colby, 34-year-old rookie. So what a moment this was for Kirk as he joined the media following his victory. We would like to welcome the winner of the 2023 Honda Classic, Chris Kirk. Chris, congratulations on your fifth career PGA Tour win, first since 2015, is that right? That is right. Well, congratulations. It took a little bit of extra time on the job today, but you got the job done with that um, approach into 18 in the playoff was pretty much the exclamation point. With the win, you moved to number six in the FedEx Cup. Uh, I know there's a lot going in your, on in your head, but if you could just kind of sum it all up and tell us how you're feeling initially. Yeah, um, you know, d definitely still trying to wrap my head around it for sure. Um, but I'm just so I'm so thankful to to be able to do what I do for a living. Um, I'm very thankful to have the life that I have and and uh, to have the opportunity to compete on a stage like this and a tournament like this and and to to be able to pull it off is, you know, a huge bonus, <clears throat> sorry, a huge bonus for me. And, um, yeah, just, I mean, unbelievable. Like I said, I don't, I don't have the words yet. You've, uh, you talked a couple of different times outside and you really credited your sobriety as the, is the, the, what's made just a tremendous difference. Um, if you could just touch on that, um, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, I owe I owe everything that I have in my entire life to my sobriety. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing this for a living anymore. I probably wouldn't have the the family that I have currently anymore. Um, you know, I was came really close to to losing everything that I cared about, um, and so for that to to have have happened and and worked out for me, um, obviously it was some decisions that I, that I made, but mostly the grace of God and, and a lot of other people that, that really helped me along the way. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's something that's constantly in my mind. So it's, it's pretty easy for me to see that, you know, winning, winning the Honda classic is kind of a bonus, you know, uh, when literally everything, every good thing I have in my life, I owe to that. Okay. Well, with that, we'll take a few questions. We'll start right over here. Chris, congratulations. Uh, there's so many parts and perks to winning What's the best one? Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been. I came into this week at 47th in the World Golf Ranking, and that's usually not something that I care a whole lot about. Uh, but I have not played the Masters since 2016, I think. Wow. Um, and you know, growing up in Georgia, that you know kind of means everything to me. So I've been. I've been watching that world ranking closely, trying to you know stay in the top 50. Uh, but to to take care of it it this week is you know that's going to be something that's incredibly special. You know, last time I played, my my son, my two older sons, Sawyer and Foster, were I think maybe two, just turned two, and like four months old. Um, so now to be able to go back. They'll be 11 and 9, and then Wilder, my third son, will be 5. Um, so that part 3 contest can't come soon enough. Uh, it's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that the, the whole week. Um, but just to, to be able to make those memories with my, with my wife and my kids will be awesome. And, and you carry a reputation as a pretty cool level customer. What was the wave of emotions like on 18 as you, you, know, you hit the water, you hit the great shot at the end. What was that whole wave like? You know, I didn't really feel that much until, you know, after it was over. Um, obviously, I was pissed when I hit it in the water. You know, I was I was just trying to stick with my game plan of what I was doing and, and stay aggressive and hit that right in the middle of the green and, and um, push it a little bit more. You know, if, if I had really flushed that one, um, it, it still would have covered and, and probably been right next to the hole, but um, you know it was a, a a miss a miss cue for sure, and one that I almost got away with and didn't. Uh, but then after after making a huge mistake like that, to to still have a chance, 
um, and go back there in the playoff felt felt great. And so I, you know, when I missed the fairway on 18, I was uh, I would love to have piped one down the middle, but I almost like my chances better with a with a wedge into that pin than some of those shots from from left or lot. You know, everybody saw how difficult Eric's bunker shot was, and he had a great second shot. Um, so, yeah, I liked the position I was in there, and and then um, to be able to hit that great of a wedge shot uh, under those circumstances felt amazing, and I was definitely glad that that was a six inch putt, not a four footer. <laughs> uh, first off, congratulations on winning tonight. Uh, that certainly means a lot to everybody. Um, how well did you know Eric Cole going into today? And just talk about the way you guys went back at each other. I think you all had like 10 holes where you had different scores. You all were just kind of going back and forth. I did not uh, know Eric at all until today. Um, he was great to play with. I was very impressed with his game. I was very impressed with his demeanor. Um, we had good conversation out there. You know, it was very, you know, as relaxed as it can be in that that scenario. But um, – it was pretty cool talking to him. You know, he's being a rookie on, on the tour and his young looking as he is, I just kind of assumed he was 24 like every other rookie on tour. He's actually 34 and has um, had quite a journey, sounds like, to, to get to this level. And, and um, I think we'll, we'll stick for quite a while. He's got a, got a really great game. I was, I was impressed by the way he hit it. He putted incredible. Um, it was just really solid all around. Tom? Congratulations. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I remember talking to you a couple of years ago here about your life's journey. And you said then that y y you, you've been very open about it, but you weren't open. You didn't think about sending a message to other people. But now you're on a, you have a platform, you're on a stage, and when you talk about it, how much do you think it can help people when they hear someone like you having gone through what you went through and where you've come now? Yeah, um, I've gotten to see it firsthand. Thankfully, it's been amazing um, getting to connect with people and and meet people that have, you know, it's been, I, I couldn't really put a number on it, but it's been a lot of people that have reached out to me directly and said, I I read your story or I heard your story and, and that made me decide that it was time. You know, um, and when I, when I first came back to playing and was and was very open and honest about it that was not in my mind at all you know it was more uh it was it was for me because i felt i'd lived this life for a number of years where i was just you know lying to myself lying to my family lying, you know and hiding a lot of things and so the the honesty of of the process that i went through to get better just felt so good that I had nothing to hide. And so it was just the natural thing for me to do. Um, but now on the, on the back end a little bit, um, it's been, it's been amazing. You know, it's not, like I said, not something that I really saw happening, but to be able to connect with people and hear people that, you know, for somebody to say, I got sober because of you and my life has changed because of you. I mean, that's, I mean, you, you can't really describe how, unreal that is with words. So Chris Kirk, now a five-time winner on the PGA Tour. It took a lot of guts today, but he managed to hold on. He's punched his ticket to the Masters and so much more. So congratulations to Chris Kirk, your Honda Classic champion.